First tonight, a man walks into an unlocked church and steals thousands of dollars worth of items. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. Police say gold chalices were stolen from St. Rocco Church in Johnston yesterday afternoon. The suspected thief was caught on church surveillance cameras, and police say this is the person they're searching for. New tonight, we're hearing from St. Rocco's pastor about the theft. Iowa News reporter Anita Buffoni has more now from Johnston. I spoke to Father Angelo Carusi of St. Rocco's this afternoon. He says a thief got away with four gold chalices worth a total of $10,000 stolen out of this cabinet out of the church sacristy. He says one of the chalices very personal, his very own chalice he received when he was ordained as a priest. To think of that I may never use that chalice again to celebrate Mass is very heartbreaking. These images were taken from a surveillance camera inside the church, which was open at the time of the theft. Johnston police say they need the public's help identifying the suspect, a man in his 40s, around 5 feet 8 inches tall. It's unfortunate if people are looking for money, people are looking for help, they should come and ask us because we do that. Carusi says the chalices were locked in a cabinet in the church sacristy, but the suspect found the key in a drawer beneath it. He says videos shows the suspect putting the four chalices in a bag before leaving the church Tuesday afternoon. Every chalice is unique. In addition to his own chalice, the others belong to past priests of St. Rocco's. They play a key role in daily mass. So it's used during the uh, Eucharistic prayer of the mass, and it's how we distribute the precious blood. This is the first theft at St. Rocco's that Carusi has experienced since he came to the church seven years ago. Johnston police tell me the suspect could face felony larceny charges. I just I hope and pray that it just never happens again. Now, Father Carusi says it isn't about the money. He says each of the four chalices are irreplaceable and hopes the suspect will return them. In Johnston, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.